Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have an unsleeving or wrapping today for you of the not exactly brand, brand new, but newly arrived Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit Bonus Pack Number 2. So there's a number of interesting things about this. First of all, it's obviously a new scenario pack for the Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit system. But unlike at least some of the previous Starter Pack Bonus Packs, Starter Kit Bonus Packs, um, it is not standalone. You need to play everything in here. You need Starter Kits 1 through 4 and Expansion Pack number 1. Um, so, Expansion Pack 1 and 2, apparently. Um, and there's no counters in here either. It's just two maps and eight scenarios. So let's open her up and see what we get. Of course, I am always happy to have more ASL scenarios, especially, um, and starter kit scenarios are good too. All right, so uh, we got a couple things. We have a two-hip chart on the back of the inside cover. Okay. That's very interesting. All right. Uh, and we get a little contents card from MMP. Um, front cover, back cover, two 8.5 by 11 maps, I and J, and eight scenarios, S82 through S89. Okay, so um, two hit chart. This is just for reference, giving you the, uh, the vehicle to hit numbers. And then we get a map, which is a semi-urban map. I don't see... I mean, there's there's certainly lots of maps very similar to this in the ecosystem already. I don't know about in Starter Kit necessarily, um, although the number of Starter Kit maps is growing as well. So we get some scenarios, which we'll look at in detail in a second. We get the traditional MMP collation artifact piece of blank paper. Um, we get a, this is map I, this is mostly green fields, uh, and a little village, which is actually a pretty nice map. And on the back cover, we get, uh, another infantry fire table and close combat table. So we should have those already. So the scenarios, let's take a look. Starting with scenario S82. Uh, four hours more. This is a Pacific scenario taking place in China in 1938 between the Chinese and the Japanese. Uh, all infantry and then an infantry gun. On the back of that, we have Off to Oslo. This is in Norway in April of 1940. Um, uh, roughly a one-map scenario. It's on two, but uh, you can see we have a, about a third of each map uh, in play. And this is the Norwegians and the Germans, which is cool. Insufficient Resolve. This is Russia, August 1941. Obviously between the Russians and the Germans. That's not necessarily that obvious. There's some there's some oddities here and there too. Tiger's Roar, Russia, 1943, between Russians and Germans. Going Commando, very very amusing name. Um, Octville, France. 26 June 1944, about half of one map. Um, just looking at the credits here. Development and map design by Ken Dunn. Map art by Charlie Kibler, which I would expect. Scenario design by Chad Argent, Chaz Argent. Kevin Bowles, David Cheever, Ken Dunn, and Brian Yaus. Cover art by Nick Scooby. Okay. Uh, so this is German and Allied. Uh, so it looks like this is a mixed British and American... You uh, well, not unit because it's it's two units. It's it's some um, American infantry and some British commandos. Uh, so that's actually quite interesting. And then on the back we have straight and fast Nijmegen in the Netherlands. This of course will be part of Operation Market Garden. Unaware of the boat assault across the Wall River, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Edward H. Goldburn broke up his column of armor on the of the Second Grenadier Guards, infantry of the First Grenadier Guards, and American paratroopers of Lieutenant Colonel Vandevoort's Second Battalion of the 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment into three teams. All right. Okay, so assault on the Wall River Bridge, or, or preparation for that, looks neat. Um, and once again, uh, we have mixed British and American here, was what it looks like, yeah. Which is neat. All right, cool. A couple of interesting scenarios there. The down payment. Gay, Germany, 10 December 1944. So quite late. 
Um, this is Hurtgen Forest, actually, so that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like we've got uh, Germans and Americans, as you'd expect in Hurtgen Forest, uh, with a couple of American vehicles. And on the back of that, we have Havoc at the hospital, Luzon, Philippines, 16 February 1945. So this is Japanese and Americans. Um, looks like some anti-aircraft guns and a vehicle, uh, an American vehicle, and otherwise. A, all these are pretty straightforward scenario. Look at the scenarios, as you'd expect for Starter Kit. Uh, although some of them get, you know, fairly heavy with the special rules, which you see here as well. So, two maps, eight scenarios for, uh, to be honest, I, I forget what this cost. Uh, but it was not, you know, particularly expensive. So if you're if you're looking for more scenarios with which to enrich your ASL starter kit experience and and uh, uh, ability to, to to play in different parts of World War II, uh, then maybe Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit Bonus Pack Number Two is something you want to take a look at. So thanks for watching. Please uh, do like the video if you have found it useful. Please do subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to support our Wolf Slayer, there is a bunch of links in the video description. So check that out. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, happy wargaming. <laughs>